Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this short video I'm going to show you how you can make your own unique maze like this one here. This is a sample from uh, internet and these images, so the elephant and peanut are images I took from Creative Fabrica. I have a subscription there. You can also get illustrations similar to this one from Freepik. If you have Canva, you can import the maze. Once you are finished with the maze, you can import that into Canva as PNG. So you can export it as PNG or you can export it as PDF, which is even better. If you export it as a PDF, then you're going to have a vector version when you import it into Canva because uh, when you export from PowerPoint to PDF, you are actually exporting it as SVG. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. Okay, so let's uh, start. Let me just align my camera. Okay. So let's start with clicking on the insert tab and under shapes. So you are using left click of the mouse, left click on the mouse on the shape, left click on the mouse here to get the curve. So under lines, look for the curve option. And now this is the goal. This is the starting point. So first I'm going to draw a wrong line. So the line that is not going to be the solution line okay so it will be something like this so i'm just clicking moving my mouse and clicking with the left click and now when i'm ready just click double click it and now you have your line change the color to whatever you want let's go with black and now increase the weight and it's going to be bigger than six so i'm going to open my right uh, toolbar and i'm going to change it to let's go with 20. okay maybe smaller let's go with maybe 16. yeah 16 is good enough if you are happy with how this looks like you can leave it as uh, as is and if you want to change it right click with your mouse on the line click on edit points and you're going to get these points that you can use to change your line modify it as much as you want so you see you can click on each of these points you can also right click on them and you can add more points you can delete them you can make them into corner points straight points smooth point so you can do all kinds of modifications once once you're happy with the line so click on it and we're going to because this one has a round tip i'm going to change the tip of this one as well see here you have cup type it's flat and i want to have a round so i'm going to click on round and now it's round and now once i have this ready i'm going to click ctrl d so ctrl d to duplicate this one if you are not custom in using the shortcuts on your keyboard you can also while your line is selected go to home tab and under copy go to the drop menu to get the duplicate option as you can see here it says is a control d so now that you have this duplicate line change her width to maybe 10. let's see how 10 is going to look like and change the color to white and i think this looks quite good so this is the first one this is the wrong part and i'm going to draw a uh, correct one so once again i go to insert tab under shapes under curve and now i need to draw a curve that is going to be the correct one so let's go here, let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. Double click to end it. Once again, I change the width to, what was it? 18, I believe, 18 or 20. Uh, it was 16. 16. Change the color to black. Change the cup type to round. And if I'm happy with how this looks like, I'm going to click Ctrl D to duplicate put it here on top of it 
and change the color to white and change the width to what was it 10 yes and that is how i make uh, maze similar to this one in powerpoint once again these two illustrations are from creative fabrica you can also let me remove this on the side you can export this as png or gpg or you can export this as pdf and as pdf import into canva so you just upload into canva if you have pro version of canva and then you can add illustrations there and you can make your maze unique you can also move this around you can also uh, you can also rotate this around you can change it up once you have this template you can change the niche so maybe this is an animal niche you can change it to any niche you want once you have this template of your hand-drawn maze made and as you can see what was it maybe it took me maybe two three minutes and plus because I'm explaining to you so basically it takes you maybe two three minutes maximum to make one maze like this one so maybe the entire book of let's say 50 100 mazes is going to take you a couple of hours so in one day you can have your own unique hand-drawn mazes and the benefit is of course it's going to be unique nobody else is going to have the same like you because you made them and you have full copyright on the maze that you made not on the illustration that you added unless you draw them yourself but you have the full copyright in your book for this maze that you created now uh, also let me just show you quickly something else you see how uh, one line is always above the other uh, line now uh, how you can make that let's say this is uh, under and this is above so technically you cannot do that but what you can do is you can fake it let's call it like that so just draw a short line make it uh, what was it 18 i believe or 16 make it black and duplicate and let's see did it duplicate it no it didn't Control d so be safer make it white make it what was it 12 i believe it's 12 let's see is it 12 i believe it is okay so now that you have this small patch here you can put it on top rotate it a little bit and of course it's best if you zoom in so you can see what you are actually doing so let's do this a little bit to the left i'm using the arrows on keyboard to adjust it perfectly okay and i think my numbers are off i should this this should, this should be 10. let me check this one yeah it should be 10 so that that was the wrong number wrong value okay and let's zoom out as you can see there is a small black line it, it's not going to be visible in print but if you don't want to look at it what you can do is right click on it and click on edit points and just extend the white line a little bit and on the bottom and now you have you don't have that uh, let me just go back you don't have that black line anymore uh, well, like i said it's not going to be visible in print but if you don't want to see it on the screen you can do this and now if i zoom out this is you see you have now over and under and you can repeat the same procedure you can actually even select this one and duplicate it and then use it again let's so let's say this is over this is under let's say we want to have this over this is under let's see we can move this one as well so here okay so i need to extend this but you see where i'm going with this one so you can also make those adjustments so the line appears to go up uh, above and under now what I would suggest is that you do not do this. You do not do this breaking in the lines for the solution line. And the reason why you should not break the solution line is because so let's just duplicate this slide. So click right click on the slide and click duplicate or once again control D. And 
Now, on this slide, we're going to make the uh, interior line, we're going to make it red. So this is your solution page. So this is your solution page. And this is the reason why I only make these breaks for the line that is not the solution line. Because if I do this for the solution line, then I have to change this color to red and this is going to be white. And then it creates just extra work. So make sure that when you are creating these uh, tips above or below or bridges above or below that you are not doing it on the line of the solution you are doing it on the line that is wrong so that the, is going to stay uh, white and that's it that is how you make your own uh, original unique maze similar to this one in in reality if you don't do this you the only option is for you to hire someone to do it or buy from internet but the problem with this for example this image is uh, everybody has it everybody has this image everybody can download it and use it and then if you are doing this for your uh, for your own kid or for school it's okay but if you are doing it for kdp and publishing and using this in your book you could have uh, you could face problems because of repeat usage of content and KDP and Amazon doesn't like that okay thank you very much uh, this is a shorter video I hope you liked it there's a longer video that explains extra and different types of uh, mazes and how to make them and I go into more details about the points and everything and this segment on the right. If you have any questions, ask me down below. I can easily make another video with uh, answering to your questions. Thank you very much.